In this part, I'll be fighting a monster made of gold, meeting a visitor in the middle of the night, and trying to help our very own Sleeping Beauty. I'm Mad Morph, and this is my full game playthrough of Baldur's Gate 3, and we are in Act 2. Before we begin, let me know in a comment, do you prefer these videos going up a couple of times a week, or would you rather one long episode once a week, and it's on a specific day, so it's like a weekly podcast where you know it's going to happen? And now, let's jump back in to Baldur's Gate 3. Alright, we're back to continue our adventure, and I just noticed, look, Karlak has a teddy bear called Clive sitting in her camp that you can actually pick up and have a take with her. I wonder if stuff appears here that you pick up, or if it's just a random selection of items they have, because you can actually pick these things up and put them into your inventory. But how cute that Karlak has a bear. I knew we were meant to be. To Let's um, leave the camp. And remind ourselves of where we are. We need to carry you. Uh, darling, would you? <laughs> with Karlak back sure. with the group. If you promise to swap once I get tired. Uh, please, I can barely manage my pack. You'd kill me. Cute. If not over, then through. Let's get out of here and go back to where we were on the shadowed battlefield. After went to bed. Why did this take us to bed? Supreme Kithrak, has Vlakid sent you to slay me with your own blade? I've not come to kill you, Lazel. I've come to aid you. Don't trust him. Hmm. Skakak Kir Gith Shabeleth. My blade rests. Mother Gith compels you to listen. I'm feeling a little underdressed, especially with Lazel and Falama. Fine, we'll hear what you have to say. Not to Lazel, she should take the lead. Go on then, speak. Speak. I know you carry the astral prism, Lazel. Within it lies the seed of Vlakith's demise, and I intend to help you bring it to fruition. Vlakith's demise? Skakith! I should run you through for suggesting it. Hmm. Are you talking about the person inside? Do you know who it is? If they have not said, they must have good reason. And I won't be the one to betray them. But the one inside's chosen you as an ally, protects you with their power. That very power will be the end of Vlakith's tyranny. The prism's tenant must be let loose. I've sought their freedom for eons. When the prism went missing, I feared the worst. How Instead, old are you? you've granted the opportunity I've so long awaited. All that remains is the key that unchains them. And I've found someone who I believe can provide it. Bring the prism to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting in a tap room called Shares's Caress. That is where we decide the fate of my people. Lazel. Together we will break our chains and be Vlakith's slaves no longer. I am no slave, she's still Kithrak. The Undying Queen is my freedom. It is she who will purify me and she who will ascend me. Oh my gosh. Lies, Lazel. Every last one. There is no purification, no ascension. The Zaith Isk does not purify, it extracts memory and kills the infected. Nor does the Lich Queen glorify the Ascended. She feeds on most all of them to grow her power and pursue godhood. This is what we've been telling Madness. you. You flood me with this... this heresy. I... I will hear no more of it. Calm. 
Ooh, I have your back. I don't have your back. Kill him. This is your chance to earn redemption. Listen, he speaks the truth. Some good approval now. I served Flacketh the whole of my life. Learned her words, fought her battles, yet she names me her Sharlak. Your words carry truth. I will meet you in Baldur's Gate. Do not make me regret it. The truth will set you free, Lazel. Lazel, I see Talakma gear in you, sister in freedom. Together, we will be our people's light. Okay, but interesting that the dream visitor said don't trust him. It is a Quanith, a psionic detector. The Queen's warriors hunt you. The Quanith will sound you out when you come near their portals. Hear its cry and prepare for battle or slip away. Okay. I should go. Vlakith's gaze pierces the seas and skies. She believes me loyal, and I can't afford her mistrust. Keep the astral prism close. Let no one take it from you. Slay any who try. Now to Baldur's Gate. I'll be waiting, Lazo. Hey, as Gremlin. Doctor Strange. Oh, little eyebrow raise. This is my thinking face. Psionic detector. Does it need equipping? No, it's just there. Ooh. Well, do you want to have a conversation about that? I thought you might. All right. What now? I'm just gonna sprint over here in my underwear. My peach of a bum hanging out. Vlakith cast seven crath crash head. Only in Vlakith may we find light. These were the first words I ever read on Tirsu Slate, but they are no mere aphorism. They are law. They are creed. The root from which the 10,000 protocols stem. Forsake one protocol and forsake Vlakith. Forsake Vlakith and be the blood and meat which sates her dragons. If Voss speaks true, if ascension is a lie, if tadpole purification is a fairy tale, then I have not sinned against Vlakith. She has sinned against me. My dear, you were literally in the chair that tried to kill you. I'm surprised it took this long. Who do you think's in the prism? I don't know. I can't know. And that drives me mad. At first, I thought them an illithid deception, a trick of the tadpole. But the dream figure is real. It lives in the prism. Voss believes they are the seed of Vlacketh's demise and the agent of Githyanki freedom. And I believe he may be right. I wonder if the dream visitor appears differently, because we all have the dream, we share the dream, but there is only one artifact with one entity in it. Now I see that as my guardian, my dream visitor in there, my little goblin. Eh, uh, gobber. And... But everyone has a, like a different dream visitor. They've been saying they've been seeing different people. So I wonder if it just appears differently to each one, but it is the same entity. So like when I'm looking at my guardian goblin, would they see something different? I would assume. I don't know. I mean, we'll find out, won't we? What does Ascension entail? Ascension is a young Gith Yankee's greatest honor. Long ago, the Gaith enslaved my people. They dominated our minds and bred us <clears throat> for war, until Great Mother Gith took a hammer to our bonds. From the day of our hatching, young Gith have one purpose, to train hard enough to slay a Gaith and take its head. Then, we speak the rite of Ascension, and a red dragon comes to fly us to Vlakith, in Tunarath, City of Death. We are honored with an eternal home in the Astral, celebrated for our victory. We are ascended. Or so I believed. 
It's like Vikingish, Valhalla-ish. Um, I mean, on it, Lazel, I find this stuff tedious, but I'm going to go through it with you because <laughs> you are a companion, and I want to get all the dialogue we can. But my God, the Githyanki stuff, I'm like, well, let's move on. I'd never thought Vlaki the tyrant or me as a vassal. She was the source of my might, and I the envoy of her will. A warrior, a champion, a destroyer. But if Voss is right, and Vlakith consumes the Ascended to gain power, then I am no destroyer. I am mere livestock, bred to be harvested and devoured. Every Githyanki is a slave with a singular purpose. Not to cull the Geich, not to prevent their grand design, but to raise Vlakith to true godhood. Geich. Sounding proper like Welsh there. Gaelic vibes. And if Foss is wrong, if his claims are wrong and Vlakith's are real. Then, when the Kithraki come for me, and come they will, I will submit to their blades. They would feed me to their dragons, and I would deserve no better. Cool, let's move on. Yes. I'd like time to think. Babe, you've been brainwashed. We'll Voss at Just get Caress over it. In Baldur's Gate. Until then, be vigilant. Vlakith's eyes are upon us. Hopefully getting out of this will, uh, you know, loosen you up a bit. You know, you're hanging out here with, what, an ogre head? A stuffed ogre head for company and you're having a drink. There you go. Drink your sorrows away. Play with your, you know, scarecrow there and get a good night's sleep. Still right? breathing, despite everything. The world keeps turning. You can't dwell on it for too long. I feel like you have. And now stay at camp and keep quiet whilst me and my merry companions go and have a right old time together. All right, dear? Okay. See you later. That's quite enough get Yankee business. Let's go hang out with my three crushes and see if we can't get into Moonrise. Stretch. I'm sure we'll be distracted along the way with some quests. All right, we are back. We need to find a way forward. We still have the blessing, right? So we don't have to have our torches out, which is handy. Let's take a look at the map. So back there is the last light in where we have kill that sweet cleric, the urge. And we still have investigate the last light in. And down here is moonrise. Whilst we're still close here, let's actually flip back to the inn. Eyes open. It's sharp. Let's see what that investigation is. Hello, gang, I've returned. What's that there? Investigate the inn. Yeah. Still alive, so that's progress. <gasps> A big stuffed bear, Darkmoor the Wicked. What a vicious looking creature. I swear its eyes are following me. Oh, I want to know more about it. Why did you fail that check? What a vicious looking creature. I swear its eyes are following Dark me. Darkmoor the Wicked. Imagine meeting him in the flesh. Or rather, in the hide and stuffing. Everything from the wood of sharp teeth to cloakwood was his hunting ground. Until a small army rallied to take him down. Me. Um. There's so much voice work in this. Like, the voice actors have all been going really viral and stuff. And obviously, you know, rightly so. Getting a lot of praise and... 
interest and when you think about it the amount of lines for these main characters to have recorded they've been working on this game for four years some of them it's crazy swift as my feet can carry me hello if you have an alternative in mind please do propose it he still won't speak just keeps going with the bloody song. Nothing of use on his person. His original writ of duty, signed by Eltan himself. Fella must be one of the very first flaming fist. He must know something. Let's not give up on him yet. I don't suppose you found a way into the towers? Not yet. What's with the fellow in the cot? Isabel cleared this place and he just appeared. We think he's staying at the inn when the curse fell, which means he's been trapped inside for a century. Oh, Beggars no. belief he's alive at all. Hopefully, he'll come round. Tell us something useful about getting through the shadows. Right now, he seems to have little more to him than a refrain from some song or other. I do believe he's uh, got an earworm, miss. I'll talk to him. Wouldn't we all? I'm not even sure he's fully conscious, but feel free to say hello. Maybe a new face will inspire him. Unfortunately, I won't be here when he comes around. I'm heading to Baldur's Gate to seek reinforcements. Okay. The council sent a carrier pigeon with news that the city has been dealing with absolutist attacks. The Steel Watch is holding strong. I'll request that Lord Gortash send some of them to aid in the fight against Moonrise. The curse won't harm them. Holy shit. That's my old boss. The guy who sold me to Zariel. You know the name Gortash. A counselor with considerable influence on Baldurian industry and politics. But he is no He more. hurt Karlak. He dies. That name's sickeningly familiar. Lord Gortash is the man responsible for the creation of the Steel Watch. It's no wonder he earned the title. The Steel Watch are the future of warfare. Gondian automatons that can automatons. be sent into battle without risking any lives, except those of our enemies. Lord Gortash had only completed work on the prototypes before Ravengard and I left for Elteral, but even they were formidable. With the Steel Watch at our backs, we can storm the tower, whatever Ketherick throws at us. I'm sure of it. I'll do my best, but there's every chance I'll fall to the curse of all the cult before I reach the city. Don't count on me and assume no aid is coming. Work with Jahira. That harper's mind is as sharp as her blade. Follow her guidance. Steel what? Farewell. We'll meet again, God's willing. You done yappin? Um, Steel Watches, what an amazing name for, like, a troop of automatons. Do you need comforting? So Gortash is a lord now. I'd like to clap eyes on this Steel Watch of his. You already know the story. I was Gortash's bodyguard, loyal as they come, when he made the deal with Zariel. She got a test subject for her infernal engine. I never found out what he got. This is the kind of man who gets a title. Authority makes me sick. Yeah, me too, babe. Always the way. A man like that has no place in power. We'll make him answer for what he did to you as soon as we get to the city. That's right. Oh, the city. Baldur's Gate. Home. I can almost taste it, you know. Not even Gortash can spoil that. We're on the way. That's the attitude. Flame color. That's your name, isn't it? Art color? I'm Fistula. Thaniel and me climb, climb, climbing up a tree. We. We need you, sir. One of our own's been taken. A grand duke. You might know something that could help us bring him back. We found him out in the shadows, just wandering. Nothing survives out there for long. Don't know how he made it, 
or I see. where he came from. Hulking out of his pants. This is no physical ailment. It is a spiritual malaise. The man's mind has been gripped by the shadow fell. Yet it has not broken. Can we bless him? Um Thaniel, who is that? No idea, I'm afraid. Whoever it is must be someone important to him. He's been saying the same thing over and over ever since we found him. Thaniel. What a what a cool name. Anyone that's called Nathaniel, just go by Thaniel. That is way cooler. Like why are we why are people called Nathaniel going by Nate? No no no. Thaniel. Let me have a look. Actually that song, have you heard it? No, not till I met R anyway. Okay. It seems to be all he remembers. Bummer. Let me have a look. Did you check for personal effects? This was in his pocket. Okay. He doesn't seem to have any reaction to it now, but he held on to it for a hundred years anyway. I'll see what I can discover. Thank you. A worn letter. Assignee, Art Culloch, Rank Flame. Objective, obtain information about current activities in Moonrise Towers and its environs, headed by Catherick Thorm of the region's ancestral Thorm family. Orders, take lodging in the Last Light Inn and begin investigation in the local House of Healing. Reports indicate corruption, but no corroboration has been obtained. Note, the region's Thorm's family are long-standing devotees of Saloon, but rumors indicate a Sharon enclave might be gaining momentum. Investigate and report. Grand Duke Elton. Wake him up. Okay. What he found. Hello, mate. Please. I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to him. How to get through to him? Probe his mind with the detect thoughts. Yeah. Oh. Ah. E. Yoink. Daniel. Daniel. Repeat what you heard in his mind, Thaniel. We are living. We are dead. Two of us safe to the end. Without a reminder of who he is, of what he held dear, his mind will remain lost to the darkness. Okay. Look closer. We are skin of our teeth on these. Oh my god. Two just on the nose for the last two dice rolls. His fingertips sport calluses and toughened skin, as if from manual labor. Or playing a stringed instrument, perhaps. A stringed instrument. Did we find an instrument here? Do I have to do a performance? Play along from to like sing, maybe? Ah, oh, it was so long that we were here ago. I can't remember if I had a loot. Maybe if I play any loot. Would it have to be a specific one? If he does, he isn't sane. An instrument. And music. I have Lehala's lute. Waiting for the sun forever. Snuffling and stalking. Guys, it's not a concert. I'm trying to do medicine. This is very serious medicinal purposes to me playing this. Don't don't gather around and cheer. It wouldn't be right. Oh, go on then. I guess it wasn't that. Monsters snuffling. Stalking. In the shade we are walking. Hmm. My faith will guide me. Can you bless him? <laughs> it 
just look. Shadow Heart just serving. How many die today? How many die tomorrow? Let's have a look around and see if there isn't anything about this song anywhere. Maybe some sheet music or something. The tough thing is, I may have already found it, but that would be in my journal if I did. I reckon. Um. Wake up Art. Found Art's last orders to investigate the House of Healing. Follow in his footsteps, you might learn more about him. Okay. The House of Healing, then. One day I'll catch a break. Marcus was scum. But the rest of us are loyal to Duke Gravengard. Loyal. Good, cool. Alright. See ya. The House of Healing. Where is the House of Healing? I'm guessing it's not within. Um, I still have Investigate, the last light in. Let's see what that one's for. Looks like there was a burgeoning selenite resistance. Investigate further. The resistance. A cat. You're not his majesty. Did they change the cat? What happened to the hairless boy? Hang on. Look what's the TV Be gone. His. Be gone. It is you, but you look different. They changed you. Is that blood? No, never mind. Just seeing blood everywhere. Like it's the shining or something. Let's have a little poke around upstairs. And then we'll get back on the road. Uh, can you go up? What is... There you go. What is this silliness? Mm -hmm -hmm. This place is a mess. Who's in here? No time to rest. Maybe she knows. This is the one Scalaritas sent you to kill. Every scrap of your marrow yearns to end her. On with you. Unless you want to come back to a gaggle of shadow-cursed harpers. My blood, it's telling me to kill you. I have a few questions. Go on, then. Um... Tell me about Saloon and Shah. Moon and Shadow. Light and dark. Divine sisters ever at war. And this place has become one more battlefield. Sometimes life forces us to choose sides. Luckily, sometimes the choice is obvious. Right. I don't know much about you, care to fill in the blanks? I could say the same. But perhaps we should save the trivia till we're on the other side of this thing. Promise not to die, and we'll celebrate with our life stories. It's a date. How did you get here? Right place, right time. When a cleric of Saluna stumbles into a Sharon shadow, she's bound to set it to rights. At any cost. Okay. I wonder if I should confess that my blood is telling me to kill. I'm going to save just in case, but I do want to be honest with you. Something's on my mind. Don't let Jahira catch you dawdling. There is something about her. It would be wonderful to kill her. A perfect tragedy. My blood's telling me to kill you. And yet you hesitate. She doesn't believe you will do it. You can see she wants to believe there is mercy in all, even in the worst. You aren't the first to threaten me. But I know the eyes of a killer when I see them. You mean me no harm, do you? An experienced cleric can tell such things. The urge within does not want to talk. The restless urge starts to scream. Bash you, eat you, flay, flay. 
retreat into your mind, fester in the urges. I feel like if I did that, I would wake up to a mess, you know? Chase away your putrid desires. You can really, the narrator is really leaning into these dark urges. Like everything that's dark urge related is mic close, drawn out. It's great. As suddenly as it started, you have tamed the urge. It slumbers. There we are, the real you. Your affliction, is it? Doesn't rule you, does it? Hmm. You will live. Let things begin again, as long as you keep the peace in last light. That was nice. I'm glad we did that little interaction. See, honesty. And now we're like bonded, and you seem to be understanding of my affliction. That was the first time. that pouch oh it's just from a dead body they moved the bodies but the loot's still there let's move i'm just gonna leave this loot on my back why not why not you never know when you might want a song it's over here i have a lot on my mind and well in it guarantee there's something to dig up down here got to be No? Surprising. Wonder when Shadowheart's gonna surprise us with that might be worth enough. Seems simple enough. Well, she did just surprise us here, but with um, the results of me giving her the orchid. Could find. Oh, clicked off, sorry. I've got a long road ahead. Shadow heart worshipping Shah, us worshipping Shadow Heart, you know. Just a chain of worship. My chair's getting creaky. I think I need a new one. It's just an IKEA chair. I did try one of those really like office people know expensive like Herman Miller ones. I got a refurbed one. This was like years ago. Which was like half price. And I ended up sending it back. I didn't like it at all. I found the arms to be really stiff. They kind of like gave me pins and needles when I lent on them. I just have like a 60 quid Ikea. I think it's called the Marcus or something. And I've always had this exact chair. It's always the one I've had through, you know, 10 years of streaming and making content and long hours. And it's just, I, it does you well. If you want a sort of cheap, good office chair, you don't need these give up now. super expensive gaming ones or office ones. Like this one is great. Just needs tightening up, I think. Very, like, seldom get a sore back or feel uncomfy in it or anything. How delicious. How frisky. What do you have as a chair or your setup? Let me know. I'd love to see what people have. I'm open to trying other chairs. I sort of want to redo my setup at some point, end of this year. Launched oh, potion. All's well that ends. Not the last light detention cell key. Okay. Never wanted the easy path. For here. Used key. A cell under the inn. I mean, makes sense. Drunks. All that stuff. Hang on. Is there something? Ah. This is what I've been keeping an eye out for, is having to move things from my divinity plays to reveal stuff. Move that. Love that. Cracked wall. Break it. Smoke powder barrel. Weapons don't have... Um, durability in this game, do they? I feel like they do in Divinity, from what I remember. We'd have to get, like, weapons repaired. Where's this? I'll give it a shot. Double metal doors. Locked. Scroll of reviving. Thieves tools. 
What else is in here? What do we got? Open sort of cabin on the other side. Ah, wait, maybe we use the barrel? This is explosive, right? Oh. Use the skeleton. A dagger. Hello? What's that? This place haunted? Why are you guys freaking out? What's happening? Right. Stand back, everyone. The Starion. Why do we keep hearing screeches and screams? Halloween. Oh. I see. Um. Well, that's not gonna light it up, is it? At least things have stayed interesting. Maybe there's a lever or something. Before me. Curse to put my hands on everything. And this one, which we haven't been in yet. stuff. Don't see anything else. No. And now we can see what's on the other side. Empty chest. Heads. What's inside? Hmm. How are you going to open these? I know it's locked. Can you... Oh, can we just pick the lock? Am I... Come on, open up. Really overthinking this. I think I might be. Someone there? Sorry. Let's crack it open. Got a bit excited with the moving of the <laughs> crates and thought everything had to be thought through and just pick the bloody lock. How many of you were going pick the Death lock from off? Blood whispers. It's not moving that deep. In. One of those people that makes everything more difficult for themselves, you know? Even when I was in primary school, which is what, elementary, my dear Watson, um, it would be written on report cards, like, makes things harder than they has to be <laughs> for themselves, like. Oh, disarm that. Touch me. Close rolls, but all successful rolls today. We have so many bonuses for the right things, don't we? Should be easy. Unlocked. A coruscation ring. Arcane radiance. When the wearer deals spell damage while illuminated by a light source, they also inflict radiating orb upon the target for two turns. Hmm. Now here's the thing with you, Astarian. I noticed there the ring that you have on. So you don't need the Misty Step boots anymore. I'm actually going to put... Oh, do you know what? Not while we're down here. I'm going to... But for combat, I'm going to put the Water Sparker boots back on him. This was my plan, is that he has the ring where he can't be electrocuted. But then the Water Sparker boots that make electricity where he's standing. Although, alternatively, an option could be to give those boots no, no, and the sad. ring to Karlak. Who only has click heels anyway. 
And then Astarian can also still keep a distance, but Karlak can run in and he can make it rain on her. So then she's fighting in a puddle whilst electri electrifying it. Might be a better idea than Astarian putting himself in danger, but it could be a good defensive spell as well, but I feel like the majority of damage that Astarian takes is actually from range. Like, I wonder if the gods are watching me. They don't seem to rush him with melee. They just try and uh, snipe mm. him off. What's that? A mean lock. Well, they look pretty mean. <laughs> Well, there's a few of you. You have a decent amount of health, 50 for a bunch of you. What are you? Can I get an exam in here? A mean lock. Light sensitivity. While in bright light, this creature has a disadvantage. Oh. Dark vision, see in the dark, opportunity attack. You go invisible. Claws are sharp as hell. Their eyes are made for the dark. Fire and light is our friend. We're frightened. Fire and light. Need to stay focused. <sighs> Come on. Can't stay idle. Fire and light. My wall of fire. not the time for a song. Can I, like, throw something at you? I'm going to start using my potions a bit more. Oh, it looks like we're all good. What you got up here? This is going to feel good. Yeah, it is. Welcome back to the gang. Self going, huh? <laughs> Trying you out with this adamantine mace. Um, and we'll see. Why can't you reach? What? Oh, oh, there's one right there. I couldn't see it. I'm so blind. So it's going to crit every time, but I might. I wanted to see what it did. I may switch you to the great sword still, but since we made that mace, all the effort I went through, I didn't want to like completely do away with it. Right, can we finish this one? Use this new power. Cool. Didn't damage though. Get you up there. Fear off of you. Dun, 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 dun. Right, don't you have a light beam? Thought we had that. Do I not have it prepared? Sunbeam. Ah, oh, that's so cool, man. We can hit all... Oh, look how many! Target's oh, blocked. Okay, go here and then just blast it down the pipe. Goes all the way to there. Wow. Awesome. Cast a boy in here. I honestly think my Shadow Heart build and the spells that I have her and the way that I play her is so powerful. Especially against anything that is of the dark. I meant to throw 
<laughs> the corpse at that one, but it's fine. They both ended up dead, dear. You're a little rusty. It's okay. Incoming. Still on my feet. Okay, you two. Let's go ahead and. <laughs> Concentrated blast. Since you all come through the flames now. It ends the concentration to blast that out. The panther. Dun, 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 dun. So I equipped my character with Hoarfrost boots, um, and so I can't slip over anymore. So I would cast like a Sleet Storm here, but because Karlak is in this area, I won't just now. We'll do Scorching Rays. Target is prone, deal additional damage. Critical miss. Shall cut and run. Sixteen. Tormented. Close. Should have hunters marked you before, but Beanish. Good. It's hot in here. Ah, hunters mark works for me too, right? Because we're both blunt now. Although I'm not like super impressed with the damage of that, so we're gonna try the great sword with Karlak. The Soulbreaker Great Sword. We'll see where we go from there. Looking ahead. Um. Good job, everyone. What's next? These things have mushrooms. Onward. Is that blood? Except. No, never mind. Time to press ahead. Nice clean fight. <clears throat> Last light side light entrance shrine, key. Hidden away. Perhaps I had no choice but to hide. This is like your rival school, huh, Shadowheart? Did you guys have cheer squads? And do a whole like bring it on bit with each other? Oh. Okay, all just jumping around here. Yeah, I'm just trying to pick up a prayer book. Halfred's note. Hidden amidst columns detailing the income and expenditure of a tavern is an aside, written in tiny, urgent handwriting. I have concealed the sacred relics of our revered goddess in the darkest corner of this place. Morfred, my loyal brother, seeks to forge a network of allies to stand against the oppressive reign of Cethric Thorm. Sadly, fear has gripped the hearts of many, turning them away from our cause. I cannot truly blame them, for trepidation fills my soul as well but I must put aside my own fears and reunite with Morfrid in the bowels of the Mason's Guild. Together we shall preserve what we can of the Mood Maiden's Light, and hope that the banners of the faithful soon rise against that treacherous dog, Thorm. Hmm. 
What's that saying then? Investigate the Mason's Guild. Okay. More spots to look out for then. I feel like we can jump up to these. Do you have anything? Is there anything else in here? What's that? Could just be that this is kind of where they were living. A cragged rock. Oh, we can climb up it. Is it cragged or cragged? What happens? Can we go higher? We go over there, it's just a way up. Oh, is there another cracked wall there? Another way in? Or out? out where Ugh, spider webs ah behind there so there's more places to discover other ways that you could have got in I don't know why you would need another way and going that way would have like not been as good a choke point for that fight. So I'm glad we ended up where we did. Alright. Let's go back out on the road. Ah, oh, the Mason's Guild's there. this direction then. On the shadowed battlefield once more with the boots of a frosty horn. That's... Looks like it's out over the water. On the other side of there. No time to rest. It's away here. Tripwire. To a secret room. Everyone come over here a second. Star in if you would. All's well that ends. Not as bad as it could have. It's funny, isn't it, how you know the voice actors are getting sort of all of this attention and praise, but the people who voice the main, like, your actual character, the main character, like, no one ever thinks about that. But there's a bunch of those as well, like, the default voices that are... And think how excited... Oh, I'm voicing one of the characters in, uh, the Larian game? Next Baldur's Gate? Oh my god, like... I know it's past this. That was my childhood. Wow, wow, wow. No one talks about your character. Oh, do you know who I performance I really love? Default Voice 3. Feel bad for him. Oh my god, a one? Astarian just watching us using up his thieves tools like, Listen, I know you said you wanted a hobby, but... Can you learn to pick locks on someone else's time? Ring of Twilight. Try to by Twilight. Gain a plus one bonus to armor class while obscured. The Black Oleander. Moving ahead. Twilight. Edward. Never a dull moment. Are you a Twihard? Do you like Twilight? You can hear me read Twilight to you as a softly spoken bedtime story on my podcast. Now on the second podcast channel, which is at Down to Sleep Extra on YouTube, or join the Patreon. The Shadow Curse. Already feeling better. It's too deep. Can't pass it yet. 
Okay. Oh man, this is like a big area. Okay, let's carry on. Still alive, so that's progress. I kind of like that as a little bit of direction and like pacing, where it's like, no, 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 not yet. Go do go do some other stuff for a bit. Help me focus, you know. I just play these games like absolute undiagnosed ADHD of like here, there, this, that. Dead Githyanki. Short sword. A ring. A slate. A map etched into this intricate disc. The risen road winds through a mountain pass. Within the hills is nestled a sizable temple. Oh, so it's like a map to the crash. Letter of Surrender. General Kethrick Thorne, it's with a heavy heart that I must announce the surrender of the Harper forces and its allies to your Dark Justicia army under unanimous agreement. Harper's work against villainy and wickedness wherever they find it, so states our code, and so here we have acted. But I also know all too well how the statement continues, but they work ever mindful of the consequences of what they do. We cannot be party to the suffering of the people of Rythwin, and indeed of the great loss of life and this war will visit upon the Sword Coast, perhaps beyond it. So it is written, so let it be done. Kelvin Aronson, on behalf of the High Harper Council and its allies. Two words slashed across the bottom of the scroll. Surrender declined. And they're all dead. Dark Justicius, who fell long ago in service of Shah and Catherick Thorn. Uh, I want that mask. Where are you going? Oh, it's all the way down. What? You are going to get it. What are we sensing, gang? Is that Roland? I thought we had better sense than this. Roland? Oh, you're alive. Save. Oh! Why is Roland... Okay, now he's an ally. we got to save him. Heels. I'm going to enjoy this. See what you can do with that thing. Nice. We'll protect you. Starion, if you can get where you can see, maybe. Might be a bit better. Going to chance that you can see from here. On the way. To focus. Okay, let's get you in there first. Got to press on. Blinded. Is that something I did? Is that like my? Oh, it's the radiance from the uh, blood of the thunder. Awesome. That has the thing, right? Um, sheds holy light in a six meter radius in combat. Fiends and undead standing in light are blinded. Oh my god. taken no damage yet. Now, what is the dealies with you? It's necrotic damage nullified, poison nullified, radiant damage doubled. Everything else is halved from what I remember, right? Yeah. I don't know if I have anything radiant on my person, so I'll just hit you with a... Critical cantrip. God damn it all! Clean. I could do nothing right! Not a damn thing! <sighs> but 
aesthetic wizard. <laughs> barbarian. It'd be fun to play as a barbarian with those sort of dialogue options. Please tell me you weren't looking for Moomerise. So what if I was? Cal and Leah could be there. Instead, I found myself cornered by shadow fiends and in need of rescue from you, of all bloody people. Yo, not Hermione. Should I have left you to die? At least dead, I'd have had a purpose. Perhaps as an appetizer for some cursed monster. I failed Cal and Leah again. Be on your way. I'll return to last light. I know when I'm outmatched. I feel like there has to be some sort of. Um, I have a lot on my mind. You know, I'm I'm curious and to see well, in it where it ends up. His like sort of character development, his his arc here. His boots have seen everything. Because from the start, he's been having a tough time. And he just wants to take care of his family, and there's obviously. You know, they're not convinced he cares. He obviously does care very Keep deeply. They have, you know, a familial relationship going on. So I'm curious to see where that ends up. Can't wait. There's lots of little side plots like that that I... A one. Okay, it's fine. Get all of our bad rolls out of the way on tools and chests. Hit them when they matter. It's fine. There's, and then there's the funny. Gloom Strand Shield. Stealth plus one. I mean, I'll send it to Shadowheart, but I did spend 1,600 coin on a shield for her, so I can't imagine it's going to be much better. Success. I've got a long road ahead. Okay, that leads into some more What's deep and here? gloomy shadowness. At the ready. I Open see a little up. chest hiding behind a bush. Scaramouche, Scaramouche. I do the loot fandango. Let us continue on. Wait. That's to Moonrise. Hang on a second. I have to go this way. But is the curse not going to kill me? seem to like be maybe I have to like get through the damage I thought ah uh, I have the lamp I'm sorry it's been like at least a week since I picked this thing up this lets me through sorry forgetful 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 I, I'm sure you guys were saying that when I was at the masons thing well I'll go back to the masons thing after this then to moonrise, darling. Mm -hmm. It's hard sometimes, like, recording stuff, you know, days and weeks between. I was getting a bunch of other indie games done. What is that thing? Visage of Regret. Why with you? Should probably save. I want to have a word. You should leave now. I should have left when I still could. Okay. House Shadow Sax. We go up these stairs. Inspector's memo. Hang on. Let's get some of the lore here. Fizzru's up to his old tricks, the damn rat. Tried to sail right past without paying toll. Half dozen crates this time, as if we'd miss a shipment that large. Transfer them to impound, no funny business. We seized two chalices just days ago. One silver, one gold. Seems they grew legs and walked off. Odd, isn't it? I'm not pointing fingers, mind you, but if those chalices don't walk right on back, Gringoth will want answers, and she'll be asking you first. From J to B. 
A rotten cheese wheel. From the downlands. Oh, what's left of Silks from Cormier, it says. Empty though. Agate. All the way from Thay. Report to the toll master. Pay the toll. Ah, oh, you are the visage of obedience. Oh, Gringoth, Thorm of the Thorm fam. Going in the vault. Wow, oh, man, is this Ghostbusters? Stomping around, leaking gold. Oh my god, you're literally leaking gold. Everywhere. And I see I can talk to you. But maybe I should do a bit more investigating first. I need some info. Sinful red on bone white. Combine this dye with an equipment to alter the colors of the fabric. Oh, it's like a rare, a very rare dye. Hmm. Exciting. What if I killed all the visages? Would that be something? of sentimental value among the confiscated goods. That is to say, junk. To dispel. Opulent chest. Where was that? Up, oh, maybe. Please understand, I couldn't fight. I couldn't risk losing all this. These things are gross, ma'am. What's the plaque say? That's curious. What's curious? Seized inventory. Well, we're not getting in this way. Shadow cursed vines. Through the roof it is then. A rotten barrel. That's curious. Everyone jump up and down. Oh. <laughs> Just picturing a starion, just like, oh, it's like ground opens up underneath it. Arms straight up in the air above them. Ah. Try again. Oh my god. Third time. Four tools left. 25. That's more like it. Fervent flames. Whenever you take fire damage dealt by another creature, gain two turns of heat. Right. What else is in here? Great axe. 213. Oh, I don't know. Scroll of color spray. Crystal take ball. If I do. Dearest saloon, our fair maiden, weave our hearts with threads of silver. Guide us with light of the moon and quench us with the purest of tears. Shadows taunt us, hear our prayer. Shadows stalk us, hear our prayer. Shadows wound us, hear our prayer. Saloon thou with radiant loom, mend our hearts with threads of silver. Heal us with drops of morning dew and soothe our souls with softest afterglow. I didn't realize we had time to read children's stories. Darling, reading children's stories is um, part of what I do for a living, so you can just relax, alright? Love you, bye. Um, <laughs> okay, hurry. How do we get out of here? 
Gonna have to drop down, aren't we? Let's be quick. I don't suppose there's much for us. You guys better come and join us because we Whenever have comes, the. I'm ready. We have the light. Come on, Karlak. You need. You know how to jump. Let's get going. Not really sure why Can't afford to stay idle. we um, bothered there. That wasn't really much of anything in there. Jump. What a charmer. Let me just ungroup you for a second. Like, am I missing something? Unless reading that prayer is going to help somehow. There is nothing else in here. Ah. Oh. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting ah. Feeling fresh. Short rest because that was painful for no reason. Let's save it and do a bad thing and go and have a conversation with that spooky. Turn based. Eyes. Why are we hey, good looking. standing in. amongst shadow curses? What to do? Come on. Walking death. Keep up. Okay, back up here. Hello. I think I'm meant to sneak around you to get into that safe, but let's just have a combo. I haven't touched any of your gold. It's all yours. What do you bring? <clears throat> Greater balance to the natural and civilized world, I hope. <laughs> what do you require? I require gold. If I give you gold, what do I get? Toss the creature a gold piece. out so much gold for so little in return. You may pass the river, but first you must pay. Um I'm here to replace you as toll collector. Eighteen? Oh gosh. Good luck. Oh we did it. Oh my god. done a great job here. You really set the standard, but I'll take it from here. A 21? Oh, boy. 15. Ah, man. Wasn't a bad roll, either. I don't think we need to use inspiration on this. I mean, we're probably going to fight. You'd just leave anyway. You will take yeah. nothing. You will pay. Gold. 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 I think if they didn't bear the name Thorm, I would have been more inclined to use an inspiration. But because they're a Thorm, it's like... Oh. You aren't dead. Got it. Oh. Well, that was an almighty whack. Boom. Flag 
you have... S I forgot how much health you have. Good lord. Do you know what? I have a feeling. What if your health is linked to how much coin you have? And if I open that vault before talking to you and empty it, like, is that where you're keeping stuff? And you hunger for this gold, because you're basically made of gold, because that is, like, such a crazy amount of health. You're an undead. Cursed coins. Increase her overall health. Unless when I hit you, like, that stuff comes off of you. Let's do a few hits and see what happens. Oh, sorry about that. Dun, 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 dun. Sound design in this game is absolutely just. My ears are like. Mm. I think killing the visages made you drop something just now. She lost like a hundred. Jeez, she hit so hard. Let's find out. She's at 493. Yeah. 406. Get him. to reload there with me dying so quick but we're gonna go with it we'll use a scroll of reviver five if we need to Ooh. they broke the concentration on my um guardians that's annoying oh two down you've got a spirit weapon too boss fight. Pretty crazy. Um, it's a shame this won't revive me because I failed my rolls. Damn it. Starion, why quietly? Fifty-six percent. Just cast those guardians again. Beautiful. Hit the heal anyway. <clears throat> I can't remember the last time I played, whoa, a game where I just felt myself falling so deeply, like, into the fandom. Like, the only reason I'm not fully just completely and entirely sucked into and immersed is because I haven't finished the game, so I'm having to avoid spoilers and, like, how much I look around and stuff. 
you know, and scroll past TikToks and all this kind of thing. But once I finish this, if you don't think I'm going to be diving into the ocean of content and conversation and just like getting my hands on every little thing I can for this game. Which again, I don't think I've done since Divinity 2. Like I have the vinyl, I have the collector's edition graphic novel, like give me all of that stuff. I will be searching for more, let me tell you. I'd love to try and find the collector's editions of that one actually. I think they had like, I think it's a model of Fane. I think it may actually be cooler than the Baldur's Gate 3 one. I'm not a huge fan of the Baldur's Gate 3 collector's edition model. It doesn't like feature any of the characters, but um, also have a T-shirt of Divinity Two, which is the squirrel riding an undead cat skeleton, which is Sir Sir Laurel Lauren Sir Loris. I'm trying to remember his name. Who is an amazing character? I should have hit that on the thing. need to get this thing. It's a good hit. It's not quite enough. <gasps> Look! How like, I didn't even know. She's being literally stripped away from the coin curious and everything that was and then now look at her. This like oh, this fleshy undead creature that was covered in armor. That is grim, dude. I love it. only a hundred health left. Gotta hit this thing. Oh my gosh, stay alive. Come on, we're so close. been close enough to hit that. Please don't just keep paralyzing us. Shadowheart, wake up. Wake up. It's gonna hit a rage ended. Starion dead. Yeah, it is. Charlatan takes one to no one. Astarian just looks like he's had too much to uh, drink. My faith will protect me. Okay, so something happened here where you're now broken through with only six health. What if we don't kill you? I want to see something. Or maybe even like a blunt attack. You know, you're completely stripped bare at this time. Maybe um, non-lethal. How do I do that again? Non-lethal. It's an option somewhere, isn't it? Dual wield. Dual wielding. That's how you turn it on. Because I wanted to have uh, Karlak dual wield maybe the adamantine mace and something else. Uh, I'm trying to remember how we turn off lethal. I don't bloody remember. There is a way to do it. It's like here somewhere, isn't it? 
Nothing does light. Toggle non-lethal. There you go. Which with a mace, I think you can do. Pretty sure. Heating up. You're also non-lethal, but you can't use the sword. That would be lethal, as you would expect. Go punch her in the head. I'm going to save it, just in case. Not enough movement. Can't. No, okay. Like you're not you're not hitting us at this point. Like, what if we just end turns? We can get rid of your halberd, maybe. Like you're just okay. You're casting more. Hang on. What should I do? Dead. All the gold in the world can't keep your heart beating. I guess she was already an undead. Twist of... Man, this game loves a good mace, doesn't it? Bloody hell. Twist of fortune. 3 to 10 damage. When you roll 2 or less with this weapon's damage die, re-roll take the new result. Tenacity. Office key. Unsigned trade visa. An unsigned writ suggests a counterfeit in progress. Whoever made it was planning to trade illegally. I tried. It's good to explore these things. You never know what you might unlock. Um, you have revived spells, don't you? Why is it looking like this now? I want it to... Just be normal. Why is it not just going to my normal thing? Oh, because I'm on passives. Uh, uh, Don't we have revive? Save me using this thing? No? Ah, it's a level 3 spell. I've used my level 3 spell slots. Very good, very good, very good, very good. Take two, Hey, wah wah. Take two, Now! It's fine, we're gonna nap shortly. Um, speak with the dead. Can't target undead, bummer. Let's see what she was hiding. Not be cursed. It's locked. Oh, strength. I am strong. One gold piece. Oh, 514 gold. Might look like one piece. Man, I started to feel sorry for that character towards the end there. And they're just there naked and stripped bare. Another shield. So Shadow Heart with you. Right, let's have a nap. After a fight, what we need is a long rest in the Toll House, deep in the Shadowlands. Hello, my darlings. I didn't expect Glazel to turn on the Lich Queen so readily. Wonders never cease. Ah, <sighs> nothing new for now. Betty buys. Actually, before we do, let me take this off my back. And sleep with that on your back, would ya? Let me out, let me out, let me out! We'll let you out when we're done, when we're good and ready. Leave camp. Leave camp. Good. OK. 
Okay. Oh my god, the statue of herself. How weird. An official record of traders and goods passing through. Uh, a wax seal bearing GT. That would be Gothric Thorm, I guess. The collected toll dramatically dwindles. Nothing on the shelves. Something good here, I hope. Oh, hit the floor. Already forgot that we saw that. Fall by my hand. So was she greedy then and whoa. It's just into darkness. Like she was the one stealing, is what I'm getting. And that's like why she's probably cursed here with everything. Why is that just an empty hole? This where she was like keeping stuff. Can we cast light? What's next, I wonder? Who has light? Uh, shield of devotion, light. No target though. Until the next long rest, infuse. What is the point of opening this floor up if we can't? We like throw stuff in there. Oh, I uh, didn't mean for you to pick that chest up if that's what just happened. No, I threw it down there, I think. This way. It doesn't seem like there's any other rooms to really explore. What about this back room that she was snooping around at? Keep a blade close. Hard to challenge. Like, it's just amazing to me, the pacing of this, that, you know, I get on here thinking, oh, I'll record this, and it'll probably be the Moonrise stuff, and that'll be the episode. I haven't even got there yet. Just between the stuff that I was doing, finishing off with the Githy Yankees, and then, um, now this whole Toll House is a whole area unto itself. in my lock picking life. Gloves of Battle Mage Power. When a weapon attack roll inflicts a condition, the wielder gains arcane activity. Acuity, sorry. Okay. I think the loot in this one is like less game changing from what I've seen. Divinity 2 you would find a certain piece of loot or you would, in shops especially, you would check with every trader because they would all have different stuff. And some of the things they would have would be so amazing to a specific type of build or character. Where you'd be like, I absolutely need that. And it would kind of, sometimes you would respec your entire character just because that one item was so useful. Whereas a lot of the stuff in here is a little bit more grounded, where it's like an extra roll or just a little bonus. Nothing that's like, oh my gosh, that's insane. What do these things have as loot? Natten. Right, Toll House explored. Let's continue down towards there. We could go up to the House of Healing to wake that guy up. The Mason's Guild is there too. And there is Moon... Oh my god. What the heck is that? Spider Boy. Are you Carnis? You're literally the guy that we sent out into the world. How are you here? You guys got munched up. Didn't you? I swear that's literally the um, drider that we sent out. Get your weapon back. Soul 
soldier. What are you doing here? Frenzy up. are meant to be dead. We heard you scream. Let's get you here. And if I can cast Spirit Guardians with Radiant. You're good. You come around that corner, you're going to eat these ghosts. More of them. The absolute wills it so. Breathe deep, then move. <gasps> Catch up, Astarian. The absolute. Oh yeah, my uh, conjure woodland being. Let me see where you are and what you is. Let's pop you here. X -X -2. I I conjure a full-on person, a dryad. A drow druid, is that? A fae. Nature's step. Blessing. Awesome. Just cast myself a whole life-sized friend. This feels good. Right, please catch up and get this in the glow of my lamp. There you go. And you... Let's cast a little sleet storm up this direction. It's going to slight... No, there we go. Don't want it to be on Shadow Heart. I want it to be in front. Good job, buddy. I'm uh, not going to misty step you. Just going to leave you there for now. You? Carnis has more health than I thought. Oops. Bonk. So what can you do, my little dryad? You can entangle, create a vine surface. Spike growth. Wow, that's powerful. Um, nature's step. Alter the terrain around you, allowing nearby allies to travel with ease. Fallen lover. Summon a wood woad bound to your tree to fight alongside you. So wait, you can cast something... The cast a dryad, the cast a thing, the cast a thing, the cast a thing. What is this, a little Russian doll? Got me an Ent. So powerful. Even sp even being able to cast this, and it can cast Spike bro Growth, and it's Spike Bro. Spike Growth in itself is crazy. What can you cast? Inta you can cast Entangle. Man, we can just have vine surface upon vine surface here. Like, let me... S if I stick this here, I wonder if it will get rid of the ice, though. It does change the surface, doesn't it? Let me experiment over here with you. Right, you bloody slipped on the ice, you silly tree. You did manage to cast Entangle before you did, though, I think. Right, Karlak. Nice. Just stay there, hold the line. Throw at Throw that body at that. Great. Keep that spider down. I hate spiders. Okay. Shoot a little ranged attack. Okay. Good to have my full team back together after having Lazel in the party for a while. Because, um... Karlak as well is very powerful. Okay. Okay. 
chop some tree. Cool lightning on all your butts. Especially with all that melted ice there and all that water. That is wonderful. Love using the environment in this game. Lightning, lightning, lightning. Uh, as your worst nightmares come to fruition. 4 to 40 damage. Haunt a creature with its worst nightmares. It takes 4 to 40 per, oh, per turn. It's going to take that damage next. Okay. Tangle you up. Wonderful. Jeez. Slay the spitter. damage in nice and close with our things here. Where do I go from here should be putting that hunter's mark on them I just keep skipping over it for some reason um can I thorn whip you what do I have to do I don't want to like pull you over and into the rest of those guardians, but it doesn't seem to have gone that way. Let's spill some blood. Kill it with fire, Astarian. <laughs> you missed. Dryad bonk. Still alive, so that's progress. Arrow of Roaring Thunder. And my dryad just rolls with us now. Can I talk to them? It's just like having an extra party member. I have to keep going. The cruel sting. Sting the helpless. A drow elf wielding this weapon deals an additional one to four poison. Sharp eye Laura. What's hiding here? Warrior Gromag. Tried pork sausage. Checking all the loots. Whenever you deal fire damage, gain two turns of heat. Same as what we had in there. Ready? Ready, Betty, go. And that's all your loot. Now what's that I'm looking at? What am I going towards? Towards Moonrise. Is this Moonrise Towers? It's like a tavern. This is a big area, isn't it? It's Act nothing. 2, all of these Shadowlands, maybe. I sort of Tell thought the Shadowlands was something I was passing through to get to Act 2, but it may well be that this is Act 2. More? Another fight? You best all stay close with the lamp and also my vision for these invisible eyes. We can see you. Oh, 
are some spikes. Let's see what comes actually. Um, it's going to be the radiant damage on you guys, isn't it? So may as well just wait for a minute and actually go ahead and suck up some damage. Wait. In Albert form, I can't see you. Because my eyes change, I guess? Ah, so I need to be me for them to not be able to go invisible. Okay. Um. Ah, I only get to cast the Fallen Lover once. Radiance. Burns the vines off of the floor. Interesting. Time to move. Oh. It's all Shadow Heart, let's be honest. The radiance is real. and see what happens. I think we all just stay in this circle, to be honest. So cool. Alright. I think what I want to do is actually pull you into. Oh, miss. Spikes at least under them. There's blood in the air. Step quick. Any dead to animate. I can't animate that skeleton. Dun 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 scorch. My parlor said the spider to the flyer. Come on, come attack the circle. Missed. We're here, ready and guarded. Take the bait. Right on the edge. There you go, one. Spikes for you. Dun 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 dun. Saved from being toppled. Ignis. There we go. Ah. 
as long as Shadow Heart can keep her concentration. Guiding Bolt should be big radiant damage on you. Yep. Yay. Cast another weapon. Do your thing, baby. That's what you do best. Too far, damn. Blood comes easy these days. Not enough movement to thorn whip him. Ignis. Hit the ten, even in the dark. Just that one left. Broke her concentration. Look at a Starion using his little bow. That guiding bolt. Everyone together. Come on. How much farther can I go? <sighs> How much further? As further as needed. As far as you got to go. No traps, please. Why is my dryad not following me? Floss. Something about these plaques. Pain all's rise. How do I um Hello? Oh, you're all here, okay. How do I stop my concentration for the spike growth? I feel like there is a button for that to like end spell. Ah, there. Good. Why did that sound like the jigsaw laugh in the background? <laughs> sort of thing. Another plaque. Something over there. Adios of Gatchal. Ah, uh, little Mishwinthorm. Form rise for when let's see for shall rise form shall rise for ladies of Mistra. Mistral's pain. Four ladies. Four ladies of GHT on something. For when night. Four ladies of Mistra. Four ladies of Mistra. Mistress. Of Mistress. What was that? What? Oh. I did something. 
And if you want to find out what's in the secret door, then tune in to the next one. Hit that like and subscribe so YouTube knows that you want to see it. And I will see you there if it's not already on the screen right now. But otherwise, enjoy one of those other videos. Good night.